right guys it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and i do mean over the entire beautiful day <coughs> here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and all the rest so it is a friday it is a friday it is august 12th 2022 we are heading into the 40s tonight here it bugs in a jar farm. What is the temperature right now? I thought it told me the temperature. I guess this computer doesn't. I think it's about 62 now. But anyway, since it is Friday, I was just getting ready to uh, bring you my Manga Bay Roundup, my Ecological Meltdown Roundup rant. Uh, you know, looking at the usual crop of catastrophes. But we have to stop all the presses, guys. Manga Bay, Rhett Butler can wait, because I have an email from Al Gore. Al Gore has emailed me. Al Gore, and I have a red warning from Yahoo Mail. Red exclamation, a red triangle with an exclamation point. Yahoo Ma Mail asking me why is this message in your inbox we think this message is spam we still put it into your inbox as the sender al gore is in your contact list huh you can mark this message as safe or remove the sender so i <laughs> I am getting offered the opportunity to remove Al Gore. All I got to do, guys, I go on here and hit this button, and I personally can remove Al Gore. Uh, and I would feel a little bit guilty about removing Al Gore. You know, as tempting as the idea is to hit a button and remove Al Gore, I'm going to have to read Al Gore's message and decide, is this message safe? Is this message from Al Gore safe? And so you can figure that out yourself. As we hear from Al Gore, what is his, I guess Al Gore is the head chief and bottle washer at the Climate Reality Project, yes. <laughs> the uh, the dangerous uh, subversive uh, red exclamation point spammer Al Gore himself, the head of the Climate Reality Project, is celebrating today, and we all know why Al Gore is celebrating. Dear friends, I am a friend of Al Gore. <clears throat> In almost every climate reality training, I include a quote from the great American poet Wallace Stevens, who wrote, quote, After the final no, there comes a yes, and on that yes, the future world depends. Close quote. Yes, thank you, Wallace Stevens, for that. Today, today, Friday, August 12th, 2022, it is official. Today, in Congress, there came a historic yes with the House voting to follow the Senate and pass the Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA, the biggest climate bill the U.S. has ever seen which, in fact, is what it is. This is the most hilarious, knee-slapping, uh, sick, twisted irony uh, of this whole thing that this toothless, spineless uh, handoff to the fossil fuel industry and the big green energy guys is, in fact, the biggest climate bill the U.S. has ever seen, which is one more reason Sorry, guys. Okay, back to Al Gore. It is no great exaggeration 
well, maybe a small exaggeration. It, notice, he's not saying it is no exaggeration. He's saying it is no great exaggeration to say that on this, on this, meaning, I guess, this day and this bill, yes, our future world depends. And all I can say, well, obviously, if our future world depends on the Inflation Reduction Act, got something to tell you, folks. <clears throat> okay. And now Al wants to say thank you. We are only here at this historic moment because of you. You have been sounding the alarm on this crisis for years and urging your communities and leaders to take clear and decisive action. That is exactly what I have been. I have dedicated my life to how many years now of sounding the alarm on this crisis and urging my leaders to take clear and decisive action. Yes, to help shape the climate measures that are included in this bill, our climate reality leaders and chap chapters held more than 150 meetings with legislators. That's probably about one-tenth the number of meetings that the oil companies held with legislators. Anyway, we won't talk about that. That is an inconvenient truth. How many oil company lobbyists met with legislators? An inconvenient truth. You are not going to hear anywhere in this uh, celebratory email. And of course, you're not going to hear the inconvenient truth that uh, the few little tidbits thrown to climate are a joke. They are bright green lies that are going to do nothing on any le level to save this planet. That little inconvenient truth you will not find in Al Gore's email to me. Okay. Our friends and supporters like, I guess he's talking about his friends in the fossil fuel companies, contacted their representatives and policymakers over 180,000 times, all with one simple message. Go big. Go bold. Act now. Yes! Yes! <coughs> yes! <coughs> all right! Al is just peeing in his pants. Okay. And there is much to celebrate. The IRA will supercharge the just transition to clean energy that is already underway across the country, transforming our economy while creating an estimated one and a half million jobs and cutting costs for working families. Critically, the bill invests $60 billion in frontline communities. I knew we weren't going to get through this email without the word frontline showing up. I need to look up what the hell the word frontline means. Yes. I love this. Critically, the bill invests $60 billion in frontline communities hit hardest by fossil fuel pollution. You know, this bill that is a gift on a silver platter to the fossil fuel industry is, what is it? Uh, invest all of this money to communities hit hardest by fossil fuel pollution. Huh. Very strange. And the climate crisis bringing clean air good jobs, and better opportunities to those who have been subject to generations of environmental injustice. The impact of this bill will ripple across continents by putting the U.S. on the path to cutting global warming pollution 40% by 2030. The IRA 
helps keep the Paris Agreement alive. Hell yes! Helps keep the Paris Agreement alive and demonstrates to the world that we are committed to climate action for the long term. Okay, but I guess we do have a little bit of inconvenient truth that Al Gore, uh, even Al Gore has a little bit of egg on his face. Uh, and he does have to admit there's a little bit of inconvenient truth in this. But for all the progress we will achieve through the IRA, there are, there are provisions in it that require urgent attention and action. Fossil fuel interest forced painful concessions in negotiations. There you go. We finally have the, uh, the, the truest sentence in there, although, of course, for, fifth, for a minimum of 50 senators, fossil fuel, where are we? Fossil fuel interest forced celebratory concessions in negotiations. You understand that the fossil fuel uh, counterpart to the climate reality project, the fossil fuel reality project is celebrating more than Al Gore because, well, I guess there was about as much for, for any flavor of energy executive, brown or green. Anyway, fossil fuel interests forced concessions, whether you consider them painful or something to celebrate in negotiations, requiring, requiring the government, meaning the Save the President, Joe Biden administration to offer new areas huh, for drilling in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico, as well as more oil and gas leasing on our public lands. Yes, lawmakers are poised to take additional steps that would fast track pipelines as I say, I was already reading about one of these big pipelines. Already they're celebrating the fast tracking of these pipelines all over this damn country. Fast track pipelines that communities and climate reality leaders have fought for years to block. New fossil fuel development would put the health and well-being of poor families and black, brown, and indigenous communities across the country at even more risk. But don't worry, if you're a honky, nothing to worry about. There is nothing in this bill dangerous to the little honkies that uh, Al Gore runs around with. His lily white ass, it's being saved. Anyway, <clears throat> climate reality and I, yes, will continue to collaborate with our partners across the environmental justice movement to oppose these projects every step of the way. Our work must continue, and I invite you to be part of it by joining your local climate reality chapter. And then, of course, we have a big red donate button. Take this moment in today we are one step closer to a better future thanks to you yes thanks to me signed al gore founder and chairman of the climate reality project and with a big red donate button okay so Yahoo Mail is their automatic default, which they will choose if I don't make the other choice. 
So Yahoo Mail is voting that I remove Al Gore uh, unless I say Al Gore is safe. Is it safe to have Al Gore in my email box? Well, uh, why not? It is safe. It is safe. All right. Against Yahoo Mail's advice, I have called Al Gore safe. So I guess now that we have got this uh, five alarm out of the way, we can go uh, back over to the Planet Reality Project and head over to Manga Bay and, uh, and see what Rhett Butler uh, has to say about this historic climate bill. I'm, I'm guessing Rhett Butler does not have one single word to say about uh, this political dog and pony show. Just a hunch. Bye, guys. Little dog, that was at the rant. We got to do the real rant now.